background check for DUI and uh, DWI. So in this video we're going to go over state and county resources the public has to look at background check records. Uh, we're going to focus a little bit more on uh, DUI uh, and DWI uh, record types. Um, so for this example I'm going to um, select the state. Uh, let's go with uh, with Michigan and most states will have a very similar process uh, to uh, from one state to the next uh, except for a couple of states that make it slightly more difficult uh, but uh, it, once you get to a state page uh, you do have an option for a quick name check this looks at records on the nationwide scale it looks like public records court uh, information uh, criminal records looks at a couple of private databases uh, looks at social media it looks at uh, some deep web uh, type things and you're able to look at uh, things almost instantly it will show you some things right away if you decide to go with the full report you can proceed with that uh, on, the, on the local level at the state level you have your essentials when it comes to background checks like court records, recorder's office, criminal records, business lookup, incarceration records, sexual offender registry. You also have some things you might want to look at at the county level like court records, uh, recorder's office, arrests, mugshots, things like that. So like when it comes to uh, driving while intoxicated, um, a lot of counties will uh, will display that information actually they'll even display mug shots uh, and usually the uh, sheriff's department will have some kind of a database that can be looked at uh, sometimes those records will go away after a few months and if you need access to them you'll have to make a special request uh, typically they don't keep them around for too long at least on on their websites if um, if somebody ends up going to prison which is typically a sentence of over a year maybe multiple of uh, repeat offenses uh, you'd have to look at the prison system and every state has a uh, DOC department Department of Corrections and they typically have a database where you can do a name check uh, to see if somebody was in there uh, another crucial thing to look at is criminal records and then court records and uh, Michigan looks like has a system called iChat and it's a uh, very uh, reasonable ten dollars per name uh, to and it looks like you could pretty much anybody can can register and do it some states make it more complicated in this case it's very basic very simple to do uh, it is it is limited to uh, to the state that you're doing the background check in as you know people move around people travel so there could be things in other states if you can get your hands on information like previous addresses uh, previous locations maybe previous jobs you might want to check those states to see if any records pop up from those states also or you can do a state check with in combination with an with a nationwide check uh, just to make sure nothing is missed it, it just depends how deep you want to go with the search you also have court records let's say um, uh, you uh, maybe uh, the state is making it more complicated to look at records which some of them will sometimes they'll want uh, uh, paperwork filled out submitted things like that uh, you also have court records that you're able to look at <coughs> and a lot of times some states will give you a statewide check a statewide database that you can use and at times like in this example they'll let you look at uh, records but it's each court has its own database so you gotta figure out which court like for instance you got circuit district court you have um, different kinds of courts probate court and then you select the court and it from this point on it's it's uh, it's very simple you just type a name and you go and I'll go into the court system here in a minute uh, to show you how uh, this works um, so you have 
well, we give you a visual representation of it, of the court system in each state. So you have uh, things from municipal courts, which are city level courts, all the way up to Supreme Court. And each court will work on particular court cases. So you have felonies at the circuit court level, felonies, civil, family, juvenile. Then you have probate court, we'll, do, we'll deal with probate. So depending on what level of... Uh, it's like city city courts are not going to be doing felonies or low-level crimes typically I mean they'll do something like traffic uh, maybe violations or parking tickets or things like that so if you're looking for uh, driving while intoxicated DUI DWI whatever you want to call it um, uh, if you're looking for those types of records, you're typically not looking at the municipal level courts. Uh, so you got to figure out which court is dealing with that record type in particular. So is it going to be <clears throat> a felony? Is it going to be a lower level crime like misdemeanor? Um, and so you, typically it looks like district courts and circuit courts might be <clears throat> something to concentrate on like it, uh, as an example in the state of Michigan in another state it could be something else and then if you scroll to the top here uh, you can actually see like we have circuit court we have district court and then we'll give you a link to where you can go access this information sometimes you will also have to do that at the county level um, <clears throat> so if there isn't a statewide option we do cover uh, the top counties um, in uh, in all 50 states so at that point if there isn't a statewide system you you just come back and uh, uh, scroll down to the to the county resources and then you find your court uh, information there um, that's about it that you can also uh, sheriffsdepartment.net also allows you uh, we have special pages for uh, criminal records for court records for inmate search vital information warrant search so there's all sorts of things the public has available to them at the state at the county level <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link in the description you can come down see for yourself or just type sheriffsdepartment.net into your browser and uh, get started